One of the most prominent variables in physics is time. When we're talking about doing work, changing the energy of an object, it's often important to think of how quickly this is done, and our quantity for describing that is power. Power is defined as the rate of doing work, or the rate of changing the object's energy. Work is one of the ways we have of changing the energy of something. So here the delta E is the change in energy, or the work done on the object, and delta T is the time interval during which this happens. The unit of power is simply energy unit divided by the time unit, so it's the joule per second. This comes up often enough in common parlance that we have named a unit for that that we use quite frequently. That's known as the watt, abbreviation capital letter W. Spell it out, it's not capitalized. If we break down the watt into its fundamental components, its energy units, the joule is the kilogram meter squared per second squared, divided by time units, so a watt is kilogram meter squared per seconds cubed. So we know that power is the rate of doing work, it's the work done divided by the time period. There's a mathematically equivalent formula which is conceptually different. It's worth considering in its own right just because it helps us to think about work and power in possibly a different way. So I'll start with our familiar formula. Power is work done divided by the time interval. Break down work into its definition, the dot product between the force vector and the displacement vector. Now notice this delta d over delta t. Well what's delta d over delta t? That's the velocity vector. So it's just as valid to consider the dot product between the force vector and the velocity vector. 